What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Green Day's Oh Yeah. So this is going to be probably a pretty short review. Uh, the songs continue to be short in their own right. This song is actually the longest of the three songs of Fire Ready Aim, Father of All, and this one. And to be quite honest with you, when I was listening to it, I thought that at times it has the best hooks in it. It has the best overall enjoyment, and, and like certain parts of it, I should say, of all three songs. And at other times, I honestly feel like it's the worst of all three songs. Um, I've gone on record and I've said this for each of the songs because I've reviewed, you know, I've already reviewed uh, both of the other songs and we'll be reviewing the full album when it is out um, as well. I am not the biggest fan of what Green Day is going for with this album. I think that's okay. I think that it's okay for not everybody to be fully on board. I was expecting something to kind of follow up Revolution Radio. And to this song's credit, let me say this. This song, I feel like, does it the best of the three songs. Now, again, I actually think Father of All is my favorite of the three. I think that song has really grown on me. I like its kind of garage-sounding tone. Uh, I like. I, I just like it. You know, generally, I think listening to it over and over and over again... It's gotten to me. Also, them playing it live. I think it's a very, very good song live. Um, this song's a little bit slower, right? It's definitely not as fast. The first two songs were definitely more in your face. You know, very, again, like garage uh, style where they're just kind of playing, right? They're having fun. You can kind of tell that, right? They're just kind of going off the seat of their pants and they're just playing music. And I can respect that. And I can respect them putting out an album like that. It's just, again, like I've said in those two albums and in other videos discussing Green Day, it, it needs to have, you know, production value, right? It needs to be like actually a good product which I'm, and I'm not saying in uh, these songs are not that I think that they're some of the more weaker stuff that we've gotten of Green Day of recent memory besides obviously the trilogy which is probably the low point in all you know of all of Green Day um, but again it, the song is good I think it sounds a lot like Too Dumb to Die in Revolution Radio which is what I like that I actually really really like that I am not the biggest fan of its slow pace but it's cool it's a welcome uh, it's a welcome going in a different direction. I'm, I'm welcoming it doing that compared to the other songs. This album is going to be very, very short, and all of these songs seem very, very short. I, I'm Honestly, that's like one of the things I'm getting most disappointed in is, well, firstly, we've already gotten like a third of this album already. Uh, the songs are not long in length. They seem more kind of like, again, they're just kind of playing around. And, and again, I respect that. I am in a way, I like that. Uh, but at the same time, it's not necessarily the rebound I thought we were going to get of Revolution Radio. I get the record deal. I get that maybe they're sticking it to the record company, it being like their last you know album. And I know this is becoming more of a thing of talking about Green Day, but I think this song kind of ref uh, reflects that, right? Where I like it. Again, I like... I like his voice. I think his voice is the best of the three songs. I like the story of it. Again, because it's a little bit more drawn out, this song, it gives it more time. And, and I do like that. I do like that. I like that it sounds a lot. In terms of his vocals and like his overlays, sounds very, very much like Too Dumb to Die, which is not a bad thing. That song is actually a, a really, really solid song. So all the songs on Revolution Radio are very, very solid. And I think this builds off of Too Dumb to Die. I think Too Dumb to Die is a lot better. And honestly, one of the reasons is because they sound the same. It's just this song is a little bit more drawn out, a little bit longer, um, and a little bit more reliant on the oh yeah, oh yeah, you know, in the background. Eh, I, I don't, I, I'll just say I don't really like that part. There, again, there's some of it, the stuff. Uh, Trey Cool, the drumming, like it's there, but they're not really, I feel like, letting uh, him shine. Although I have seen people say that they really like the drumming on this song. I guess it's okay. I've seen a lot of people say that, you know, the, the guitars and the bass and stuff, they're like pretty much non-existent. I, I agree, right? I think, and a lot of people thought that with a song like Oh Yeah, especially even with like the marketing campaign Green Day put on this song, that it was going to be more in your face, more faster paced, more guitar heavy and to be quite honest i mean that that kind of is what the first two songs right F uh, father of all and fire ready aim those songs were more they were just faster paced right he was singing faster the the beat overall was faster the guitar was right there uh, they even let mike dirt do some uh, stuff with the bass so overall i thought this song was a rebound probably because fire ready aim was not a bad song we actually reviewed that as well it's not a bad song but it's a song that literally it came out and i don't think i've ever thought of the song since honestly ever uh, it's just like, okay, it exists in the world of Green Day, and that's pretty much it. Is it bad? Not necessarily, but it's very, very forgettable. Father of All, I feel like, is rememberable just for the fact that 
it's so different and it was so off the walls and it was so like not exactly what we were all expecting so i i do remember that more often um oh yeah i mean i guess it's a song that maybe will stick with me for a little bit i'm kind of doing like the jeremy johns movie review right where it's like well it lasts more well, i think about it more than a day but that's honestly what i've come to like that's what these songs of this album so far have done with me i'm really hoping there's a surprise song that's in this album that's like just insanely good uh i, I like i don't i don't want people to be super upset at me but i have to speak my opinion i love green day okay they're my favorite I, I have so much respect for them i love them they got me into playing the guitar there, there's so much i can say about them and all of their albums i can say something nice about all of their albums and they're some of the greatest albums i've ever listened to you know in, in all of my music uh history um but i have to be honest with this album as i'm not liking really the direction they're taking it and the first two songs kind of reflected that in different ways and this song reflects a little bit where it's like i just like it, it's not the biggest hook it's it's got a hook it's got a bigger hook than the other ones and i enjoyed parts of it i really liked his singing but pretty much beyond that beyond his voice i'd say there's nothing in my opinion like for me to go back and listen to this, I'd only listen to it to hear his singing voice. And I don't even know, that's not really why you listen to a Green Day song, is it, right? So it's tough. It's honestly tough. Uh, I didn't want to be able to say these things in this review, but here we are now. So guys, let me know in the comments below, what'd you think of this song? Did you think, it, you know, maybe rank them. We could rank uh, the three songs. I put this second. I would put Father of All above it, to be quite honest with you. I liked some of this song better than it, but I'd put Father of All above that. So let me know your rankings, what you thought of this song in the comments below we're gonna be reviewing the album on february 7th we'll have a couple green day videos that weekend as well so we're gonna be talking a little bit more green day on this channel primarily you know games movies shows entertainment but i do also like to throw in music for the music that i do like and we will be uh, discussing more green day on this channel okay so thank you all so much for watching and i hope to see you all on the next video